Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to show you how an OR function works. So, OR is very similar in structure to AND in that so we start off with the OR and then we can select two values. So, if I ask if this is equal to this, it would say false because obviously 10 and 5 are not equals to each other. What I can do though is I can add additional parameters and ask if this is equal to this. Now you'll notice that it's become true even though only one of these is actually correct. Um, if we just have a look here, just look carefully. The, or, the idea of between the or is it will return the true here if any of the parameters are true. So although 10 is not equal to 5, it is true that 5 is equal to 5. And as we can see, we've got the false and the true. And because one of them is true, the whole equation equates to true. If we pull this down, we're going to find that there's more chance of this resulting in a true then. Because as we can see here, both of these are true. 10 is equal to 10 and 10 is equal to 10. And it returns a true overall. Down here, it's asking the question, is 5 equal to 10? And is 10 equal to 5? Now, since none of them are true, none of those expressions are true, we get a false overall. So only one part of the actual equation overall, one part of the or, actually has to be true for an overall is true to be returned. Obviously, it's the same when we start going into using the less than. So as we can see here, none of these are less than the other. So 10 is definitely not less than 5, and 5 is definitely not less than 0, and we just end up with a false. We can just follow this logic down. There's only this one that actually ends up resulting in a true word that all less than. But even if I pulled that up to a 5, it would still work. Because although 5 is not less than 5, 5 is definitely less than 10. Okay, moving down to here, we hit the greater than. And as you can see here, each one of those is greater than the other, and it all kind of works out. As you can see here, the 5 is not greater than 10, but the 10 is greater than the 5 over this side. That means that overall it results to true. As you can see from, if you've watched my video doing the and statement, it's really simple. They work in a very similar way. It's just this time they're looking if any of those are correct. It's really that simple on this one. As long as one of these expressions turns out to be true, all of them are true. The whole thing returns to true. It's the same with the greater than, same with the less than. It's all exactly the same. Okay. And this is much like the AND, we're allowed to play around a bit so we can just have not all of the expressions have to use the same operator. You can mix and match the greater than, the less than. They can all go together and they can all work differently. There we go. We can ask ourselves if these are greater than or less than. And again, we get these true or false statements. As you see on this one, uh, both of them were false because obviously we've got the 10, 10, 10. But that's it. Or is just as simple to use as and. But when you mix them all together, you can keep adding them. As I said, you can just keep continually adding parameters to this one. So I could also on this one, just to say, I could ask myself if this value is equal to this value. And because that one thing is true, that 5 is equal to 5, it turns to true overall. Dead simple. And that is using the OR.